the boot successfully repaired. Click OK. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to fix your Linux Mint boot menu after you've removed Windows from a dual boot setup. If you've deleted your Windows partition but still see it listed in the boot menu, don't worry. I'll walk you through repairing GRUB so Linux Mint boots cleanly again. So let's go ahead and start. But before start, if you first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And if you will like this video, please support with a like. I appreciate it very much and let's get started. This is actually one of the videos that I'm making from your request. I've been facing this comment quite a few times in the comments under my videos that were asking what to do if you had Windows and Linux Mint in a dual boot setup, but then you decided to commit to Linux Mint and delete Windows. Well, deleting Windows is pretty simple. You simply need to format the partitions, but you still might have some leftover and your Linux Mint may not boot correctly. So today we're gonna fix that. First, open your terminal, press Ctrl Alt T. The simplest way to remove the leftover Windows entry is to refresh GRUB's configuration. Simply type this command and hit enter. It will ask you for the password. After that, GRUB will scan your disk for installed operating system. If Windows has been deleted, you should see only Linux Mint installed. I haven't deleted Windows yet because I'm still using it for some other programs. So as you can see, I have found Windows Boot Manager. If you have deleted, you will not see it. That's one quick fix. But what if you can't boot into Mint at all? For example, you'll get a GRUB rescue screen or black screen. Then you'll need a boot repair tool. For that, we're gonna need to create a live USB drive just like you used to create to install Linux Mint on your computer. If you forgot how to do it, you can watch my video how to install Linux Mint and there you can see how to create a live USB drive. Once you created the live USB drive, go ahead and boot from the live USB drive. Insert your Linux Mint USB stick. And when the computer starts, we need to press a dedicated key to start from the live USB drive. In my case, it will be F12. So just press it rapidly a few times to bring the boot menu. And as you can see, I have this boot menu pop up. And in my case, it will be this USB CD-ROM Wilk. USB 3.2 Gen 1. It could be called something different in your case. It could be called like UEFI or something like that. But once you find it, just press enter. It's going to bring you this GRUB menu. This is where we can choose to boot from this live USB drive, start Linux Mint 22.2 Cinnamon, or whatever version you have got there. It could be later version, earlier version, doesn't really matter. Just press enter and it will start booting into the live USB environment. Once you're on the desktop, connect to the internet and open the terminal again. Now install the boot repair utility with these commands. Press enter, then type sudo apt update. And type sudo apt install boot repair. Press Y, press enter. Once it's installed, start it with boot repair. When boot repair opens, click recommended repair. It repairs most frequent problems. It will automatically detect your Linux installation and reinstall GRUB correctly. You can upload the report to the paste bin if you wish or not report it, that's fine. The boot successfully repaired. Click OK. Close. This is your boot repair summary. Everything that was done. Pretty good. Close this. And go ahead and shut down your computer. Remove the installation medium and press enter. You should now see a clean GRUB menu, no more Windows entries. But in my case, of course, I do have Windows because I haven't deleted. But in your case, you wouldn't see it and you would only see Linux. And that's it. You've successfully repaired your Linux main boot after removing Windows. Let me know if it worked for you. But this is it for today. If you like this video, please support with a like. If you're first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more Linux tutorials. I appreciate it very much. This will help me a lot to grow my channel and bring you more helpful, interesting Linux videos. 
Also, if you run into any issues or get some questions and comments, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to help you if I can. And if you like what I'm doing and would like to support my channel, you can always use Super Thanks or simply buy me a coffee. I'm gonna put the link in the description. But that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.